Welcome back to another episode of the Michigan Magnet Man. We are back here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and we are magnet fishing with Ryan from Rustic Treasure Hunters back here. He joined us in the last video as well. Uh, Drag the Water guys will be here in a little bit to throw the magnets with us. Now we are over in a spot next to the 6th Street Bridge where we were magnet fishing before. We were actually right over here in my previous video. So hopefully we find a lot of stuff over here. These guys in the past have found tools in this area by a lot. They've also found guns. So without further ado, let's get throwing. So if you look up over here, there is a ledge you can stand on. I will be doing that in a second, but we're gonna go ahead and throw this magnet and see what we can get. Now Ryan had warned me that there was a plate on the side over here and I forgot and got my magnet stuck. But luckily with some pulling, I got her out. So the edge up here where I'm sitting on is probably about a foot and a half wide, 18 to 20 inches. Feel pretty safe up here, it's a cool little spot. I want to thank River and War for sending the gear. I'm rocking this t-shirt. I'll be doing a full review of the River and Wharf magnet sometime in the next week. If you haven't, head over to his Instagram. You can get to his website from there and see what products he is selling. He currently is only selling an 1100 pound double-sided magnet, but it comes with black, mag or black gloves like these, as well as the magnet rope and lock thread, or thread lock. So it's not a bad deal. Uh, go ahead and check that out over there. And this is part two of my trip here. I've got a few more episodes to film on my way back to Cairo tomorrow. I saw a lot of really good spots on the way here with bridges, with walking areas. So I think I might stop a couple times over by Carson City. Looking at one of Ryan's finds, it is a bunch of bolts all connected together in a little lump. He has also caught this bracket over here and a couple other little things. Lots of cool stuff he's finding. We'll walk down here and see if Jared's had any luck. He catching anything down here? Oh yeah, he's got a bunch of solid chunks that he's finding. I'm gonna hop down. Ooh. Lots of little good brackets. Looks like he's pulling in some pipes. almost just chucked my magnet without it being tied to anything and it would have went straight in the river. If you would have watched episode three, you would have saw my buddy Nate chuck my magnet right in the river. Luckily, he was able to pull it back out with his magnet. That was a weird day. Two of those lines put together. And Danny just pulled in this license plate down here. Can we see a year on it? Something out there, maybe something it looks like there's a year on here. 97 maybe? 87? 87. Looks like 87. That's sick. With our next find, it looks like we've got a piece of bar. You get yourself a spittoon down here. That's a clam hunt. Look at that. Danny just found himself a spittoon out here. Clam hook? And a clam hook. Solid finds. Jerry just found a, looks like a piece of pipe. Five moved down a little bit farther from where I was fishing at down there. Wasn't catching much down on that end, so I moved down a little bit closer to the bridge. I do have a 100 foot long rope, so it's, this spot's pretty good for that. It's a pretty big drop, I'd say about 25 foot down to the water. I like having a spot to put my magnet on too, connect with my rope. Quick. And he's got a little file. So I'm heading over here. Jared's got his magnet stuck, so we're gonna try to get it out. 
So we are pulling from this side. Now if you ever get your magnet stuck, you want to pull from the opposite directions. Right now we're not able to pull from the complete opposite direction. But we are able to pull it from the side. And sometimes that frees up the magnet. So we are gonna connect this up to the truck and try to pull her out. So Ryan from Rustic Treasure Hunters is currently tying up the rope of the magnet to the back of his truck. Danny and Jared are over there. Just, Danny's holding the rope. They're from Drag the Water. Now if you haven't, head over to their YouTube channels and hit subscribe. You can also follow them over on Instagram. And I'll go ahead and link all those down in the description. So far it's not coming. I don't know if that rope is stretching. Ooh! It came on loose. It looks like we might have got it unstuck from what it was stuck on. Feel a magnet? Now let's just see if the magnet is on the end. And we got the magnet back. Now that was the first time I've had to help get a magnet unstuck using a come along or a truck. And the truck actually worked quite well to pull that up out. So I guess we'll get back to it now for ourselves. I've not been catching much the last couple throws. And on that throw, it looks like we got a piece of plate. If you look down here, somebody else left all of their stuff. If you guys find stuff when you're out magnet fishing, at least call the city and let them know where the stuff is so people can come pick everything up. Don't just leave your trash out when you're finished. It leaves the rest of us out here to pick up stuff after you. Oh, what you got there? Uh, it seems to be a carriage spring. We got about 10 of these out of the same spot a few months back, but it's my second one today, so it's pretty cool. Good, Good fun. Thanks, man. So Jared just found this bag. We do not know what is in it. It's also a little coupling with it. Man, it looks like a nut sack. <laughs> oh. Just a nylon full of sand? Yeah. Wrapped up in this. Huh. Crazy. Jared also found this little solar light. Looks like Danny just pulled up a piece of pipe. piece of pipe big old rock head over to their Facebook page and give them a like over there and show them some support I will link that down in the description a little fine here it's like a little circle piece something. something now we are not the only people out here magnet fishing I'll zoom in over here on this person person if you watch in this video welcome to the Michigan magnet man there's also a couple people magnet fishing over here on the actual bridge. Man, nice. Dan has got another piece of pipe. Ooh, it looks like he's got something on the end there. A couple little pieces of scrap. So we've been out here for a while and my back is getting tired of throwing this magnet. Eh, Ryan's calling for me down. Let's go see what he has. So looks like Ryan got a piece of a radiator and then he's also got this electrical component over here. Now the only thing that I've really been familiar with that are like this would be a uh, drinking fountain bottom. This would be kind of where the compressor tank would go next to it and would run up, but not positive that that's what it is. Oh! <laughs> Holy crap, that's long! He just got it. 
Up until this point, we had only been pulling in smaller pipes. Ryan just pulled in a 16 foot piece of pipe. There is a great fishing spot located near the 6th Street Bridge in Grand Rapids. It is located just off the dam. There are lots of people out there casting out their reels and pulling in fish. Bottom of the sink. Oh, nice. It's like he caught the bottom of a sink. And a rare railroad spike. <laughs> Never find these. And looks like Ryan over here caught himself a nice tree. Huh. I think you might be able to get her up over. Woo! And he got her up and over. Today's been a great day out here magnet fishing. If you guys are in the state of Michigan and you are looking to meet up and collaborate, go ahead and send me an email to the Michigan Magnet Man at gmail.com. I typically respond within 24 hours. So go ahead and send me a message and we'll get together and collaborate. When'd you get there? So old, like dishwasher bucket or you put the dishes in carry it around maybe i'm not sure what do you guys think if you guys know what this is go ahead and comment down below and let us know it's also got some little links that were used for fishing weights and he found this little clip which is super cool you can see where the back part where the spring part would be spring loaded so you could put it on and connect it super sick That is going to be all for today's video, guys. If you like today's video, go ahead and hit subscribe and get those notifications turned on so you can be notified when I post new content. I post clips to my Instagram every single day, and I post new clips to my YouTube every single Friday. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys next week.